What is up everyone? Welcome to another Naughty Egg Draw. Today I am here to bring you guys four tips to instantly up your digital drawing game. And so we don't waste too much time, how about we get into that first tip. Tip number one, master two to three brushes. Now this is something I wish I would have done when I first started doing digital art. When I first started, I was trying to use every digital brush I could find. I was going out and buying a bunch of them because I thought it was all in the brushes. But sadly, it's not just the brushes, it's the mastery of those brushes. So what I urge you to do is to find one construction brush, one fine liner brush, and one painting brush. And then after you find those three, use those three in every drawing that you do. You can use other ones throughout it, but use those three and you'll really start to notice how much better your art starts to get very quickly. All right, tip number two goes hand in hand with the first one, and that is to make your own textured brushes. Now this is something that can be so much fun and add a lot of character and personality to every one of your drawings. Now the best way to make your own brushes for textures is to take some black paint or ink and different size brushes and start making marks on paper. Once you do this, scan that image in if you have a scanner. If you don't, take a picture with your smartphone and put it into Photoshop. Once it's in Photoshop, you're gonna wanna isolate that mark and you're gonna wanna click edit and define brush preset. And this can really give your images some really cool textures and it can really bump up your game. Okay, so tip number three is properly using references. Now this one is super important when it comes to doing digital drawing. I'm always one that advocates for using references in all of your drawings, especially if you want something to look more realistic. It doesn't make you any less of an artist if you're using references. Now the reason this is so much more important when it comes to digital drawing is that you can pre-manipulate your references to what you're aiming to make. Say you want to make a dog with wings, you can find a reference of a dog, throw some wings on it, and say, hey, whatever, you know what, I don't want the head of a dog on there, I want it to be a head of a cat. You can cut and manipulate these images to fit the basic look of what you want to draw, and this can be super helpful if you're someone who likes to draw fantasy characters. And remember, never steal 100% from your references. They are there to guide your drawing. All right, and final pro tip number four is to step away from your drawing every once in a while. Now, this is something that's so much more important than you probably think right now. The thing is, when you're making digital art is you're staring at a screen the whole time you're making that piece, and after a while, your eyes can be affected by the light that's being emitted. Now, a drawing like this may look like it has enough contrast while you're working on it, but if you step away for a bit and come back, you may realize the values just aren't there. Now, another little pro tip that can help you with this is to open up your image in another computer screen or open it on your smartphone. This is really helpful since every screen is slightly different in its calibration with colors and contrast, and it will give you a different perspective on the same drawing and it can help you identify things that need to be fixed. All of that, and it's also good to get a little sun when you've been dwelling in the dark all day working on a piece. I know how that goes. But that is it. Those are my four tips to help you instantly up your digital drawing game. You guys are probably thinking these are really basic tips, and at the end of the day, they really are. But the thing is, is that the most basic things are what we forget to utilize in our day-to-day -day lives. So I suggest you try utilizing these in your artistic process if you don't already. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video till the end. If you haven't yet, make sure you smack that sub button and hit that little bell button so you guys know when I'm posting videos. And like always, keep drawing and until next time, bye!